Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Physics 121 content session on integrating an acceleration function. Uh, my name is Nathan Martin, and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So the equation below inputs time t and outputs the acceleration a of a particle. We want to find the velocity and position functions when acceleration has an initial velocity of three meters per second at an initial position of zero meters. Okay, so if we're given the acceleration and we wanna find velocity or displacement, we kinda of have to go backwards, right? In a sense of, instead of taking derivatives, we have to do the inverse of that. We have to find uh, anti-derivatives, right? Well, before we get to the uh, position function, we first have to get to the velocity function. So I know that the velocity function, it's equal to the integral of the acceleration function dt, right? Remember how acceleration is the derivative of velocity? It's the exact opposite now, it's the inverse. Velocity is the integral of the acceleration function. So solving this, the velocity is equal to the integral of 3t squared minus 2t plus 7 dt. So if I were to integrate this thing, I just got to kind of, you know, remember my calc one days, right? So the antiderivative of t squared, I'd have to use the power rule, right? So remember your exponent, you add one, divide by the, uh, divide by that answer. So t squared, so two plus one, that's three, divided by three. So this would be t cubed, right? This would be a minus t squared, right? It's t to the one, power rule, add one, divided by the answer. So two divided by two is one, so t squared, plus the antiderivative of seven is seven t, and then we cannot forget our integration constant, right? Plus c. Okay, we almost we almost have that velocity function. Uh, to you know have that velocity function, we have to calculate that value of c. So this is where that initial velocity of three meters per second comes into play. So if I have an initial velocity. That means they're essentially telling us that the time is zero, right? Initial time is zero. So V of zero is equal to three, right? So let's just get that down. So V of zero, well, we just plug in zeros everywhere we see Ts. Oops, that's not a T anymore. That is a zero, right? T squared, zero squared plus 7t, 7 times 0, plus c. All this has to equal 3, right? So that means, what does that mean? That means c is equal to 3, right? Because all those terms go away. So that means our velocity function is just t cubed minus t squared plus 7t plus 3. And let's box that answer. Cool, so that's the velocity function. So that's our velocity function. We don't just want that, right? We also have to find the position function. Position function, right? So the position function is essentially the same concept, right? We have to integrate the velocity function, right? Remember velocity is equal to the uh, displacement, the, uh, it's equal to the rate of change of the displacement over the change in time. So the inverse of that, our displacement is now equal to the integration of our velocity function. In other words, this is equal to the integral 
of t cubed minus t squared plus 7t plus 3 dt, right? So if I were to integrate that, again, I just use the power rule, right? So that's equal to 1 fourth t to the fourth minus 1 third t to the third plus 7 over 2 t squared plus 3t plus another c, right? We have another integration constant. Okay, so now we have to apply the next initial condition. So the initial position, so at time t is equal to zero, the initial position is equal to zero meters, right? So we're gonna plug in zeros everywhere. So s t is zero. Um, so t to the fourth, that's a zero minus a zero plus another zero plus another zero plus c all that has to equal zero, right? A bunch of zeros everywhere. So that implies that C has to be zero, right? Because there's nothing to, you know, go. So to conclude it, your position function is just equal to that garbage. So one to the fourth minus one third T third plus seven over two T squared plus 3t, and there's no plus c because it was zero. So let's put a big red box around that. And that is the position function. So whenever you're essentially tasked to find a velocity or position given acceleration, it's just working backwards, right? You're just integrating instead of taking derivatives. Okay, so let's clear that up and talk about our tutoring services real quick. Okay, so if you'd like more information on tutoring, such as when we're open, where we're open at, um, any review sessions we're holding, all that, go to our website at tutoring.asu.edu. And remember, all that is free. All those resources are completely free, so feel free to use them, right? Uh, if you want more of these concept videos and whatnot, go to this link here, tutoring.asu.edu slash student services slash reviews. Thank you all for listening to this and we'll see you in the next video.